All over YouTube, you will find strategies and videos that examine all kinds of foolproof ways to generate outrageous investment returns. Today, we sift through the BS and look into one of the best investment strategies I've ever come across. On the internet, it's always a battle between the short-term finance gurus who claim they can amass a fortune in minutes and the boring long-term S&P 500 investors who grind their way to millionaire status over decades. All the money comes in, all the money goes out. But what if I told you that there's an investment strategy that combines the excitement of the first group with the stability of the second? This is not a joke nor a scam. This is a proven back method that is used by a handful of smart investors who understand the power of options and the long-term stability of the US economy. I dare anyone watching this video to challenge the success of this particular strategy. In this video, we dive into leaps and into how they can be your ticket to early retirement. While the start of this video may leave you skeptical, leaps are truly a special strategy. They increase your leverage without actually handing over collateral. Instead, you pay for this leverage with additional risk. But given the historical returns of some of America's largest ETFs, this trade-off isn't so bad. Take for example the S&P 500 ETF SPY. Since its inception in 1993, the well-diversified SPVR S&P 500 trust has returned an average of 9.61% per year. If you are investing in the SPY, you are essentially investing in the American economy, a machine that has been outputting unbelievable returns since 1900. As far as safe investments go, the SPY is easily one of the most recommended. Even Warren Buffett suggested to anyone who's looking to set and forget. So this time I went back, uh, actually to 1942 when I bought my first stock as an illustration of all the things that have happened since 1942. We've had, we've had uh, 14 presidents, seven Republicans, seven Democrats. We've had, we've had world wars, we had 9-11, we had the Cuban Missile Crisis, we have, a, we have all kinds of things. The best single thing you could have done on March 11th, 1942, when I bought my first stock, was just buy an index fund and, 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 and never look at a headline, never think about stocks anymore, just like you would do if you bought a farm. You just buy the farm and let the, let the tenant farmer run it for you. And I pointed out that if you'd put $10,000 in an index fund that reinvested dividends, and I paused for a moment to let the audience try and guess how much it amounted to, and it would come to $51 million now. And the only thing you had to really believe in then is that America would win the war and that America would progress as it has ever since 1776 and that American business, if America moved forward, American business would move forward. You didn't have to worry about what stock to buy. You didn't have to worry what day to get in and out. You didn't, you didn't know the Federal Reserve would exist, <laughs> whatever it might be. And uh, uh, America works. So now that we have identified a safe, reliable investment, we can begin to talk about the LEAP option strategy. LEAP stands for Long-Term Equity Anticipation Securities. This is just a fancy way of saying a long-term option that expires well into the future. Options, as you may know, are usually for the fast money crowd. If an option trader can correctly forecast a stock's price within a specific time frame and buy the appropriate option, huge profits can be made in a few months. However, if the prediction is wrong, then the same option could easily expire worthless, wiping out the original investment. However, options can also be useful for buy and hold investors as well. Since the early 90s, investors have had the ability to buy options with expiration dates ranging from 9 months to 3 years into the future. These options are known as leaps. The biggest problem with these for many conservative investors is the short-term nature of the security. Even leap options with expirations over a year may be too short for some people. The SPY can definitely have a year where it doesn't go up, presenting a huge risk for anyone who's looking to stash their life savings into this method. As mentioned earlier, if you don't hit the strike price, there's a strong possibility that you lose your entire investment. This is why you can introduce something called rolling which is essentially another way of reducing your risk even further. How it works is basically this. You buy a call option on the SPY expiring in two years, but every year you sell it and replace it with another two-year call. This can be done for many years, regardless of whether the price of the underlying security goes up or down. 
making options a viable choice for buy and hold investors. This is also known as rolling forward. Rolling an option forward is inexpensive because the investor is selling a similar option with similar characteristics at the same time. This way, even if the S&P 500 has a bad year, your original investment is not wiped out. Sure, it could be depleted when you go to sell, but when you re-add the new two-year call, it would present a massive opportunity to generate higher returns in the near term. Like I mentioned earlier, historically speaking, the S&P 500 has been a stable representation of the mighty American economy. Since 1950, it has had back-to-back losing years only twice. It often experiences long bull markets lasting years. For an example, from 1982 to 1989, the index had eight back-to-back years of gains. For this strategy to suffer, you would need a significant headwind in the U.S. economy that would result in a complete economic disaster. This obviously is not impossible. Every great economy and every great country has eventually failed. But as far as gambling goes, Betting on America has proven to be quite profitable for the last 100 years, and in the near term, it's likely going to remain that way. America, like all other economies, suffers from depressions and financial crises from time to time, but in the past century, it has proved that it always comes back and If we look at leaps in more detail, we can see that given a rise in the S&P 500, a leap will offer higher returns compared to just holding an individual ETF double, even triple the returns of a normal buy and hold investor. The exact numbers are hard to predict given when you roll your investment, but overall you can expect that this leveraged strategy will without a doubt offer much higher returns than holding the SPY if past history is any indication of the future. This can serve as a great long-term strategy for buy and hold investors who are looking to extend their gains. Even Warren Buffett has a hard time arguing against leaps for normal everyday investors. They offer more leverage without the need of offering up more borrowed money. An excellent article describing the power of such a strategy is written by David Zanoe on Seeking Alpha. In it, he describes a simple scenario with two different investors, one who simply buys the SPY ETF and another who buys SPY leaps. In a hypothetical scenario where the S&P 500 goes up 10%, the investor who bought leaps would have a return 400% higher than that of someone simply buying the SPY. Keep in mind that leaps will be more volatile than the underlying stock, but over the long term, given the American economy continues to grow, it will result in higher returns. Leaps may not be for everyone, but it is something that investors should consider as part of their portfolio as a technique to beat the market over the long term. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed and leave a comment on what you think about leaps as a safe, reliable strategy for the future.